well, it's not just the nation. I think he's still the biggest name in cycling, and he is still basically responsible for the both the scale of interest in cycling and for the kind of degree of cynicism that, that's attached to it. So it's it's been a very uh, you know, double-edged sword for the sport. Uh, you know, there's no doubt. You know, he he, he put it. He brought it to the, you know, international attention, moved it out from its kind of European heartland. But at the same time, you know, it's now you know, tarnished because of him. You know? I, well, to be honest, it's not the sport as such. I think well, it's, it's a tale about corruption, really. Uh, and ordin ordinary people, including Lance himself, you know, an athlete, people in positions of power and responsibility being sucked into behavior that you know, we all condemn. But I think we have to be careful because we can all see ourselves going that way too. I mean, I think it's not, I mean, it's, you know, a lot of sports would find the same thing if they look closely enough. And I think it's beyond sport, isn't it? I mean, I was thinking with the, with the, the Volkswagen scandal, there you go, someone you should trust, someone you should believe in, turns out to be lying to you or horse meat or MPs expenses or hacking, any of these things. I think it's, it's the same, you know, I think we need to apply cynicism to many fields of human behavior. That's the regrettable truth, isn't it? I, I think it was a perfect story because we want, you know, as a public, we wanted a perfect story. Cancer survivor wins Tour de France. You know, it was so wonderful. And I personally bought into it. You know, I used to hear the skeptics and I think, well, you're just kind of, you know, negative people dragging a guy down. He's done so well. And then, you know, friends who are really close to cycling, you know, started to tell me things that, you know, made me think, well, maybe not. But uh, I, I would say I would still give him the bit, would still have given him the benefit of the doubt, really right up until it was sort of exposed a few years ago. Um, and I think that is because we all want to believe in something wonderful. Oh, I think what you really get from this film is really through Ben's portrayal is, you know, I, I kind of, we're not providing a trite explanation of why he did it, but you do get some insight into the questions that, that, that arise from in, inside the man. You know, the, the, what's going on inside his head, I think, is looked, in, looked at, even if it's not, uh, you know, decided upon.